Today, we're going to remove the rear disc brakes on a 2006 Honda Civic Si. Alright, first thing you're going to do is lift the car up off the floor. So we're going to go ahead and put in our jack right in the middle on the rear and go ahead and lift it up. Alright, once you have the car risen up, go ahead and put some jack stands for extra secureness. Now we're going to go ahead and take off the wheels. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do, uh, I also do have a camber kit. There it is. I have it balanced though, or aligned. That way it doesn't eat up my tires because I eat up my tires big time from the inside. Um, so that way I have natural wear and tear. Sweet. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove the brake caliper itself because we're going to replace hardware as well as disc brakes. So let me go ahead and remove these. Alright and we're going to be using a 12 millimeter to get this undone. I already went ahead and broke them loose so now I'm going to just hand screw them out. The top one as well as the bottom one. All right, and you just want to put this caliper, go ahead and remove it. It's a little stuck. Uh, you want to make sure your e-brake is off. A doy. All right, now wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Everything out. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Just work it out. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I am changing the brakes on my 2006 Honda Civic. Uh, but I think I need to remove these. Uh, bladed screwdriver or a small pry bar. Just pop this caliper up and off. No, you just work it out. Bunch That's board. it. So I'm gonna go get a flathead real quick. All right, I grabbed the flathead, so I'm gonna just go ahead and work it out. And there it goes, it's coming out. All right, once you have it out, the brake shoe came out with it too. Just go ahead. There's really nowhere you could set it to, but that just set it to the side. <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do is remove these bolts down here. This one and this one, I believe that one, to remove this brake bracket. All right, you're gonna be using a 14 millimeter to get these top and bottom bolts out. I already went ahead and broke them loose, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hand release them, the bottom and the top one. This bottom one's a bit tricky. You need to go in through here to be able to reach it right in there. You just work your way into it. You might need both hands. It appears that maybe putting the caliber back into place might be the easiest way to get this bottom one out. So, yeah, that's the way I'm finding out. It's the easiest way. This one is out of there. Everything's gonna come loose. Almost. Gosh. 
Oh no, this is taking forever. All right, once you have both bolts removed, just go ahead and set them in a nice safe location. Pull this caliber once again to the side and pull the whole brake uh, bracket out. Starting to get a cramp on my foot or on my leg. All right, now we're gonna get this Phillips head out. I get you can tell it's had some work done already. It's all damaged. Hopefully we are able to get that out. All right, let's see if we can remove this. All right. And caliper shit come out. Shit come out. Might have to give it a little whack here or there. All right, we're gonna give it a couple of whacks. This rubber mallet. Wow. It's not wanting to break loose. Shouldn't be anything else we gotta take off. I got it to move a little bit. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it goes. All right, we just gotta get it out of here now. Might need both hands real quick. All right, what I did was grab my long screwdriver friend, stick it in back here, and press it up against the wheel hub. You'll see it, and then I pry it forward. This is the wheel hub. So what I did was stick it here, and then just doop, out it came out. Or well, actually, I went forward. Like All right, sweet. So that is how you remove the rear disc on a 2006 Honda Civic Si. Sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.